New at 6, a West Allis alderman is frustrated after other city leaders opposed his resolution to condemn hate crimes against Asian Americans. The Common Council ultimately passed a resolution condemning violence against all people. Ben Jordan takes a closer look. As the only person of color on the West Allis Common Council, Angelito Tenario says he felt a personal responsibility to introduce a resolution condemning violence against fellow Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. I think of my mom, my aunts, my sister, when, when they go out to work, when they go out to the grocery store, they could be the next victim of the next brutality against Asian Americans. Alderman Tenario says he's experienced anti-Asian hate firsthand since the onset of the pandemic. But he says the boiling point was the mass shooting last month in Atlanta that took the lives of six Asian American women. He says seven out of the 10 older persons in West Dallas co-sponsored his resolution denouncing anti-Asian hate crimes. But he was met with resistance during the meeting from two aldermen in particular. I would ask you, why would you exclude all the other people, all the other groups? Why would you exclude them and just in, include Asians? We have for too long in this country divided people by groups. We are not groups. We are human beings. Quite frankly, it, it, it's tone deaf and it's, it's, and it's hurtful. Instead of passing Tenario's resolution, the two opposing alders introduced an amended version condemning violence against all people. They forced a vote and received unanimous support from the committee, including from Tenario himself, who ultimately decided something was better than nothing. Of course, all hate crimes are bad. I, for me, that's a given. But right now, in this moment in American history, we're seeing an uprise, a specific uprise of hate crimes against Asian American Pacific Islanders. And I think it's really important that we have that conversation, that we name what's happening to Asian Americans. Tenario says his fight isn't over. He plans to reintroduce his resolution condemning violence against Asian Americans within the next month. Reporting in West Dallas, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News. Ben, thanks. Sadly, hate crimes against Asian Americans skyrocketed during the pandemic. Between March of last year and February 28th of this year, nearly 4,000 incidents were reported. 68% of those victims were Asian women. More than 500 of those incidents took place in the first three months of 2021.